in our previous session we have built a static interface now what we are going to do first we are going to build a table so that whenever i click on this add to cart button whatever data i am having inside this cart that data should be stored inside that table so we are going to create one table i will open local host php my admin inside this i am going to open the database which i have used in my project my shopping cart i will click on new i will give my table name as cart i will give my table name as cart whatever name you want you can give i am just selecting cart inside this first i am going to give name i want to store the name i want to store the price and also i want to store the image name i am not going to store the entire image i will be storing the image name finally i just want to store the quantity quantity by default we are going to set to 1 while we are writing code quantity while writing the code we are going to set to 1 so that later on we can increase the quantity and also we can decrease the quantity i will select var cap for everything i am just going to select var cap here i will give length length around 100 100 Hundred and let me just write it twenty. Maximum length is twenty. For quantity, let me change to twenty. And also, I am going to add one more column that is for ID. I will just write here ID int. and for id i'm just going to select this auto increment and by itself it is going to become primary key okay something should be primary inside this table so we are just going to make our id as primary so we have name price image quantity and this id field and our id field is primary so once everything is done i'm just going to click on save now my cart table is created inside my cart i am having all these fields so starting also you can give id whatever structure you want you can give i am just giving id here if you want you can give id at the first place as well we have created the table now whatever data i am having inside this cart when i click on add to cart all the data should be fetched here image name this product name and this price and this data should be stored inside this fields okay that we are going to see in next session